Hey guys, this is Urbano. I am going to show you how to connect your PlayStation 3 controller to your Android phone. Um, this is specifically, I should say, for the Note 4. Um, my phone is a US cellular version. Um, it is rooted. Um, I might post in uh, the comments below or the description. Um, maybe a link as to how to do that, but I hope you enjoy the video. There's been a lot of talk about the 6-axis controller not working with the Note 4. It has been debunked. It's There's a way to actually do it, um, but you must have your Note 4 rooted. Okay, so as I said, this is my Galaxy Note 4. Four. It is rooted. Little number four point four point four. My Knox it shows, but it is completely disabled. But just kind of let you guys know, this is Galaxy Note Four. This is through US Cellular. First off, you're going to want to go here to the 6-axis compatibility checker. You're really going to want to make sure that uh, after your phone is rooted, again, that your phone can, is compatible. I was really surprised just to see that the Note 4 was compatible just because there has been some bad talk on forums stating that 6-axis does not work with the Note 4. I'm here to kind of prove you wrong. Okay, so once you download that, uh, make sure your phone's compatible. You're really going to want to go to the 6-axis controller. Download this. It costs money. Do it. Very nice to support the developers. Um, they went above and beyond and created this. There's been a lot of talk. <laughs> Again, this does not work. Again. I'm going to show you the workaround behind that. So, <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download, or actually purchase, I should say, Titanium Backup Root. Download it, pay for it. Support the devs, do whatever you want, five star it, submit, boom. Let's open it. What you're going to want to do, go up to your backup slash restore. You're going to want to go down your list of apps. You're going to want to find Bluetooth Share. Go ahead, click on that. It says defrost right now because it is currently frozen. You're going to want to freeze it. For some reason, since you're connecting to the Bluetooth PS3 controller, for some reason you have to freeze your Bluetooth share for this to work. Don't ask me why or the magic behind it. I don't know why, you just have to. Freeze it. You can always go back in, defrost it so you can use your Bluetooth again. Come out of here. Alright, now to the application. 6-axis controller. Go ahead, open that. I think mine was already started. Um, I'll go ahead and stop this. What it's going to do is it's going to restore my Bluetooth, how it was originally. However, since it's frozen in titanium backup, I would have to go in there, unfreeze it. Now, I will show um, the part where I do connect the PlayStation 3 controller here. Um, but first, you're, what you're going to want to do here is press the start button. It says it's listening for controllers. 
Now what you're going to want to do while this is doing this is you're going to want to press the power button on your PlayStation 3 controller. It connected like that very easily. I may not have to make a video showing you me pressing the button <laughs> on the controller, but all I did was I pressed the PlayStation controller button, boom, it connected. Very important that you freeze the Bluetooth share and titanium backup. Now from here, you're going to want to change your IME. You're going to want to change this to the 6-axis controller. Again, change IME, 6-axis controller. Pair. It's already paired. This is my phone IP address, which <clears throat> it is very important. Um, I'll get to this a little bit later um, or soon here. But you have to download the 6-axis uh control tool or the pair tool uh, you have to directly plug in uh, your PlayStation 3 controller to a computer Windows computer <clears throat> make sure everything's on yep uh, you're gonna have to put it into a Windows computer um, and download it and you're gonna have to change your IP address you're gonna want to change the master IP address to whatever it says on that at the bottom local Bluetooth address um, I'll get to it later but not to get off track now active touch profile you see this here I have shadow gunner um, profile I have my order in chaos and then I have my monk set up for order in chaos and I will show some gameplay here shortly Right now, let's do that. Okay, bear with me here. I had to change the settings on my recorder for horizontal. <clears throat> what you're going to want to do here is do as it says. Tap, double tap for menu. Change your background. First off, you're going to want to go into the game that you're playing that you want to use your PS3 controller with and you're going to want to take a screenshot. I've done this a couple times here. Pardon these pictures. What the fuck is this shit? It's a pretty funny one. Mexican Americans. So you're going to want to go into the screenshots uh, page as you can see this is uh, Shadow Gunner, um, and as you can see, it's uh, off. What you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to double tap, edit background, nice little rotation button here. Press back. Now, <clears throat> here comes the fun part. This is nice because it's totally customizable to how you want to play how you want to map your buttons, how you want to play however you want to play with your controller. Double tap to open up the menu, add button, gives you a list of all the buttons. Um, this is to, again, a PS3 controller. How I usually start off is analog, left. It shows up right in the middle of the screen, right here. Now what you can do with these analog buttons is you can uh, expand them, make them bigger. I typically go roughly about that big. Now if you played Shadow Gun, you know that your movement is pretty much picked up on this side of the screen. So I'm going to use my left analog um, to put it right there. Now, with Shadow Gunner, this is a little bit different uh, game and how it's set up because the, um, <clears throat> the look around is the look around, uh, um, the way you look around in the game, it's not located in the middle. Let's go ahead and add a button. I'm going to put in our right analog. Again, 
expand this just a little bit. Shadow Gunner, um, the move around is right around this area. May have to make this smaller. Because you do don't want to interfere this with the shooting button. Which, by the way, you can actually completely move the buttons in this game anywhere you want. Right now, it's just at the default. So, I'm going to go ahead and add a button. Uh, this left, right, up, down, this is all D-pad information. All D-pad buttons. Start, power, square. Um, square? Let's go ahead and add square. These buttons are... You cannot uh, resize them. I've tried. You can't do it. Square. We're going to go ahead and put this right there, the running. Double tap. Add button. Triangle. Dive. My phone's about dead. Let's go ahead and plug that in. Bear with me here. Gonna add button. This time it's gonna be circle. Circle typically is a reload button. I'll go ahead and put that down in the reload. So you guys can get the gist here. You see what I'm doing? It's pretty simple. You add your buttons to wherever you want them. All these buttons on the map, they are all touchscreen. Um, for the actual game, and you could place buttons anywhere on those buttons so that you can have full functionality when you're playing it with your PS3 controller. So I'm going to go back. Yes. I didn't change anything. I haven't gotten into any more of these options here. Um, I might mess around with them later, but not right now. So, I showed you how to, um, first off, you need to make sure your phone's rooted. Uh, secondly, you need to download um, Titanium Backup. You need to freeze your Bluetooth share. Freeze it. Don't uninstall it. Freeze it. Thirdly, you're going to want to download 6-axis controller. It is a really good understanding here as to how it plays. I'm moving the, moving the right analog stick to completely have a full range of motion with my analog stick. Now the button shows up still on the screen and I'm not using the touchpad, I am using my analog, left analog stick, but it still will show up. I have my buttons so that they are interchangeable. I have that linked to my R1 button. And I have my jump button linked. Let's go ahead and get off. Of it. So as you can see, it works pretty well. For some reason they don't have a... Yeah, well, okay, so I'm on a quest right now to get these mushrooms right here. Those shiny, sparkly mushrooms. Special mushrooms. Now, a lot of people might be saying, Hey, how are you going to get that? Well, I have my key mapped to where if I, if I stand next to one, I have my key, uh, touch key mapped almost right in the center. And it's mapped to my R2 button. All I have to do is press that a couple times, and I'm gathering. Now I have the X button on my PS3 controller um, right where the jump button is. Now what's nice is that that jump button, it's actually touching the pick all button. So all I have to do is click that. And I am able to get my things here. 
Now I kind of have a buggy controller, um, kind of sticks a little bit, so anybody that does this, they may have a little bit smoother um, response when they try to play. <laughs> Say this guy right here. I have my L1 button, or I'm sorry, I have my uh, toggle target button right here. So it toggles in between my targets. And I'll go ahead. I have uh, the first spell linked to my triangle button. The second spell that you see here is uh, mapped to my circle button. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Pretty good. Maybe let him hit me a few times. Okay, well, anyway, I'm gonna switch in between my uh, skills. Again, I have that one mapped to my R1 button, and I can throw some uh, healing spells on me. Now, you get to map your keys, or map your touch buttons, however the heck you'd like it. Um, some of the things you won't be able to fully make uh, operational um, due to the lack of some buttons. For instance, uh, I hit the select button, and my bag and all my options come up. But the thing is that I cannot go through all my options so there are going to be times in this game in particular where i'm going to have to use my fingers sucks but still this is pretty cool i can sit back relax play this game let's go kill something and see look this guy right here Oops. Now he's not dying, but here's a restore for you, buddy. Let's go ahead and kill some bitches. well I hope that kind of helped uh, you were able to get an understanding as to how to use this x-axis controller um, and do the fix for the note 4 it could be other models or other phones I just don't know um, but this is pretty much specifically for the note 4 um, I'll post a link in the section below as to how to set your um, IP address or your Bluetooth address or whatever the hell it's called um, how to make your master IP address go with your Bluetooth or with your PlayStation 3 controller I'm stuttering like a son of a bitch but oh well again my name is Urbano people call me Herb have a good night.